Do you keep a diary? Market day at Clonakilty on Friday, 29th of July, 2022. Wasn't just like any other market day. Two diaries of a very famous Irishman were ready to be unveiled with great ceremony. Welcomed by the manager of Michael Collins house, Jamie Murphy, he introduced us to the mayor of the county of Cork. Cork, Danny Collins. It is an incredible honour to be in Clannacilty today to unveil the Michael Collins diaries ahead of the centenary of his death on the 22nd of August 1922. I am delighted that the first time the important artefacts are going on public display here in his hometown of Clannacilty. Among other dignitaries, grandniece Helen E. Collins came forward to address the crowd. Hello everybody, you're so welcome and we're so grateful to have you here today. When Michael Collins died, the diaries were handed back to my grandfather, Johnny Collins, Grandy as he was known to us. And Grandy handed the diaries on to his son, Liam, who was my father. My family and I are very happy and proud to have Michael Collins in the form of his diaries back in Clonakilty for the next month. Thank you very much, Liam. There are two diaries that are on view around the corner in the, in the centre um, and the two pages that we've selected um, to put on display clearly show the nature. This is momentous uh, but it is a momentous occasion over the last number of years developing the artefacts, developing the experience of the Michael Collins House and it's, it's great. After all the speeches, Jamie opened the door to the diaries. There they were in public view for the first time ever. It's actually free to come inside and view these diaries. Helen explains that she would love especially for school children to come and see them. I think it would be really terrific if um, children from the local schools um, could come and see this wonderful exhibition. The digital exhibition is on um, all year round and, uh, and I know with youngsters they'll be so happy with the technology. They love this uh, browsing through uh, all the pages of the diaries and the actual original diaries uh, two of them are here um, until early September so that you can see um, the paper and his handwriting in its original form. This was the diary here on the left that he bought when he went to London for the treaty negotiations and you can see it's quite a fancy diary um, so he must have enjoyed writing in that one. Um, the one on the right 1922 is held together in this particular way because the diary itself was in very bad condition. So um, this is a way that the National Archive have preserved it and held it together now for viewing. So do try and come um, before the first week of September to see the original diaries. But after that, um, the digital um, presentation will be here. And it's terrific. Do come. It's it will teach you and help you to understand a very important part of your history. If you keep a diary, who knows? Yours could be famous one day too. Even Mayor Danny Collins has something to show us. These diaries are only here until the 3rd of September. Until then, you can see them anytime between 9am and 6pm, seven days a week. Just think, if you keep a diary, you can record for future generations the exact date and time you first saw Michael Collins's diaries. Now that's worth noting.